welcome to the UK launch of the new Fiat Tipo. Now you might have seen our review of the hatchback fresh from Italy earlier on in the year, but this is the station wagon, the more practical, maybe more family orientated option. Under the bonnet of our test car is a 1.6 litre diesel engine that produces 120 horsepower and a rather hefty 320 newton metres of torque, which certainly pulls this car along quite cleanly. The Fiat Tipo is pretty handsome as a hatchback and that DNA is carried over into the station wagon. The lines are slightly elongated but they're still quite prominent creases in the bonnet and down the length of the car. Intricate grille and light details give this car quite a premium exterior finish. On this top specification lounge model the 17 inch alloy wheels fill the arches nicely. From its double bubble roof to neat boot spoiler the car certainly has character. Now obviously buying the station wagon you're after space and the interior offers plenty of that with class leading front legroom here and plenty of leg and headroom for average size adults in the back. Children certainly won't be complaining. The boot offers a further 110 litres over the hatchback bringing it to 550 litres of storage space. It's also a neat little storage cubby under the floor. The interior is actually a pretty pleasant place to be. Whilst there's a few scratchy plastics about, the overall architecture is quite pleasing to the eye and it's not dull to look at. Though I will say the infotainment display on this top specification car is a bit small for what you'd expect in this class. Our car is coupled with this six-speed manual transmission which has a good selection of ratios but it doesn't really matter because that vast quantity of torque that it has means there's plenty of low-end shove, meaning you can leave it in quite high gear and away you go. It's a really good motorway trawler. With these larger alloy wheels there is an increase in road noise but I have to say the ride is actually pretty good and there's not too much lateral motion from the body as you throw it into a corner. Whilst the Tipo isn't the most dynamic car in the class, that crown still being retained by Ford and their Focus, it's quite a relaxing drive. It's not a car that's very taxing to drive. Okay, the steering could do with a bit more feel to give you a bit more reassurance through faster bends, but overall, it's a very solid effort from Fiat. And considering that they've been so absent in the C segment for a very long time, the Tipo was a good place to come back. And that Tipo name, well, that sold two million cars in its previous incarnation, so I wouldn't go underestimating this one just yet. Fiat claimed that this particular model will do 76 mpg and emit just 98 grams per kilometre of CO2. The new Fiat Tipo station wagon costs from £13,995, and that's not too bad value whenever you consider the amount of standard equipment you get. Things such as DAB radio, those black roof rails, and of course a full-size spare wheel, which is a bit of a rarity these days, all of those things come as standard. Thanks very much for watching, and let us know what you think in the comments below. Please subscribe for all of the latest and greatest cars to hit the road. For breaking news and written reviews, visit www.insidelane.co.uk.